Hello, I'm Yuha Jin, CEO and co-founder of Tella. And today I'm here with Professor Christopher Blake. Now, Professor Blake is a professor at Lee University teaching TESOL. And Lee University is actually a very prestigious university in the US. So how are you today, Professor? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing great as well. So uh, can you introduce yourself to our audience a little bit? Sure, I'd love to. So my name is Chris Blake, and I am Associate Professor of Linguistics and TESOL here at Lee University. And I've been here at Lee as a professor for 10 years. Before that, I've taught at other universities. And my primary area of um, interest in teaching is preparing students to teach English as a second language. So a lot of the work that I do is in the field of English language teaching. I uh, have taught for multinational corporations, working with their employees to help them improve their English. I also direct the Center for English Language and Literacy here at Lee University, where we work with people from over 17 different countries, helping them with their English. I have also taught English in China. So I, for uh, since 2014, I have been a grader for the oral proficiency interview um, on computer or the OPIC and um, have done contract work um, tutoring for, for many uh, individuals. Actually, I wanted to tell the story behind us getting to know each other because um, we actually never met in person before. Um, and we don't have like mutual friends or contacts, but um, here we are uh, having this conversation. Yeah. Um, so to give a background of it, um, after I started Tela and pro started providing this chat-based learning method, uh, we knew for a fact that chat was really helping uh, our students or our customers in improving their English, but we wanted more academic research or backup to kind of show that it's actually true. And so I was searching online for any studies done and found your research. Uh, but after a few years that I initially found that um, research, I thought, why not collaborate with Professor Blake if he's open to it? Mm. And so I tried um, finding your email and um, sent that email. Uh, and I wanted to ask you, like, what was your initial reaction when you got that email? Well, it was a wonderful surprise, honestly, because I have known for many years uh, since doing my research that uh, um, Chat English, as we call it, is very effective. And so when I discovered that your company, Tela, in Korea is actually implementing the research that I did and is finding it to be effective as well, I was thrilled. So I'm so happy to have this connection with Tela right now. So I want to jump right into uh, what we wanted to discuss today, which is the effectiveness of chat English or chat-based learning. So I um, wanted to hear about the background of how you started this research and also just the content of it. But can you explain the background of how you came to do this study? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So as you said, that was really when messaging was just starting to get off the ground. There was quite a bit of interest at that time in distance language education using some of the new technologies that were emerging. And um, since I had experience in teaching in China, I was very interested to know if um, it would be possible for students in China, in Asia, far parts of the world, to be able to improve their English in a text-based environment, a virtual environment. And so, um, I had done some research and examined some models for language acquisition to really try to understand how do English language learners um, acquire the language and what is the best format, the best uh, method to, to learn English. And I, um, I found a model which was very interesting to me and I decided to test that model. But um, in the model um, really at its core suggests that the texting a text-based chat environment can be just as effective uh, at improving oral fluency as a face-to-face -face classroom, which really was quite 
remarkable to me to think about that. But I, I wanted to really test this hypothesis. This again, I, I, I was the, the one to come up with this question. Is it possible to improve oral proficiency in a text-based environment? And so um, what I did is I designed a study in which I compared fluency improvement with different groups of students. One group of students who were in a classroom, face-to-face, -face, a traditional classroom, meeting with each other. And then another classroom in which the students actually were all chatting with each other. They didn't even meet face-to-face -face at all. And I examined their oral proficiency before the study and at the end of the study. We call that a pre-test and a post-test. I, I examined improvements that they made over the course of their, their studies and found that the students in the text-based internet chat room actually improved their oral fluency more than students who were in the traditional face-to-face -face classroom. What would you say are the reasons or reason that chat is more effective than face-to-face -face or verbal lessons? Well, it, it all really comes down to uh, what happens inside of our brains, in our brains when we are acquiring a language. And it gets to something that is called automaticity, and, and that is neural pathways in the brain making connections to the point that you don't even have to think about what you're doing anymore. It just becomes completely natural. But in order for automaticity to take place, we have to use the language a lot. And that simply is not possible in most face-to-face -face classrooms. Um, and in a chat-based internet text classroom, it's much different because students are using language so much more than in a face-to-face -face classroom. And because of the amount of use of English in that text-based environment, the language proficiency inc improves dramatically, I found. There are other reasons for it as well I, that I could go ahead and mention here, but another factor is they tend to be more nervous, um, or as I know you say in Korean terms, embarrassed to use the language in a chat classroom, excuse me, in a face-to-face -face classroom. And so because of that nervousness, because they feel embarrassed, uh, the students tend not to learn language as well. However, in a text-based chat classroom, there's not the nervousness. The students tend to be much more open, much more free to share their thoughts, and that leads directly to improvements in oral language proficiency. Uh, I also remember uh, some reasons you stated were the correction aspect. So during chat lessons, um, you can receive corrections or feedback. Uh, and you can also visually see all of the uh, yes. messaging and all, all the feedback. So can you explain that a little bit as well? Yes, so feedback is extremely important in language acquisition. Um, it, it's important for children learning any language. So for example, in Korea, um, children learning the Korean language from their parents, feedback is very important. You know, and um, in a typical face-to-face -face classroom, feedback really isn't so possible because of the way the class is structured. But in a text-based internet chat classroom, it's possible for the users of the language to look back on what they've said and to see the areas where they could have improved, where they could have used English in a different way, in a better way. And also, of course, with the wonderful program that Tele has going, I think it's even better than in my research because, as I understand, in Tele, the, um, the tutors provide that feedback directly in that text environment. So really what you have with Tele is the very best uh, situation possible for learning a language based on my research and, and um, what I've observed. Uh, so to summarize the research you did, I can say that chat improves your oral proficiency as much as or even faster than face-to-face uh, -face lessons in the classroom or uh, just verbal lessons in general um, because first of all you can use more English in the same time uh, secondly you get uh, you, you have a lower psychological barrier because it's chat and also the feedback and visual aspect exactly that that's exactly right well, I think this uh, message from you will definitely encourage our current uh, learners at Tala and, the, and our future uh, learners. Uh, so do you have any words of encouragement to our students? Use it.
Continue to use it and don't give up. You really will notice the difference. Being part of a language classroom isn't easy at all. But one thing is for sure, when you sign up for Tilla, you will be able to be part of a classroom that will make you feel comfortable, where you will use English, and where you will be able to see your improvement 